Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today I wanted to do something very different. I told you guys I got new content coming your way and here is one of them. I've never done this on my channel before, so I kind of wanted to start doing it. So today we're gonna be talking about our current hygiene products that I'm currently using, as well as a few little tips on how to keep you and your yoni fresh all summer long. So I hope you guys are interested and I would like for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comment section what you would like to see next or what next topic should we talk about. Don't forget the notification bell. Get you a snack and a friend and let's jump right into it. Okay, so I thought that I would start off with like the toothpaste and mouthwash and stuff like that that I'm currently using. The current toothbrush that I am using is a Reach medium toothbrush. If you guys are wondering if you can hear. Toothpaste that I am using right now is the Naturally Friendly Hello Activated Charcoal with Fresh Mint and Coconut Oil. And it is a Epic Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. And I've been using this lately because I, of course, I drink coffee, I drink dark sodas, I smoke, like everything that can make my teeth really dingy and dirty and yellow, even though I brush my teeth on a daily. Companies will reach out to them and they had like the charcoal, toothpaste, and powders and stuff like that. So I seen this in my Walmart and I was like, you know what? I ought to try it out and I actually like it. Okay, now something that I just started trying like as of today and I wanted to include it because like I said, my current hygiene products that I'm using, this is the five minute plus white whitening gel and stain guard. It looks like this, I got it from Walmart as well. I did it for the first time today and even though it says five minutes. I accidentally kind of got carried away and left it on my teeth for about 30. For the extreme whitening, the extreme whitening says 15 to 20, and for some reason, I thought it said 20 to 30 minutes, but I realized I left it on too long, and it was probably giving me the warning sign like, hey, it's not that long of a whitening. But I thought this would be good outside of going to the dentist and getting your teeth whitened and all that. And as you guys know that I've been suffering from a toothache, a very bad toothache, and I haven't been able to get the tooth taken care of because the insurance that I have is like low income insurance and right about now for the last two, three years, they haven't been taking new dental patients. And then the mouthwash that I have been using for years now, you guys, y'all gonna look at me crazy, but I'm telling you guys, you guys have to try it because I've been using this for years. I kind of grew up on this mouthwash. And even though I do buy other mouthwashes for my kids and my wife, I solely, I solely swear by this. And this is the Dr. Tishner's Peppermint Mouthwash. Okay, this here is really, really strong. It's a concentrated mouthwash and you add water to the mouthwash in order to rinse your mouth. If you don't put enough water in with this concentrated mouthwash, you can, I repeat, you can like burn all the inside of your mouth and like pieces of your skin will basically peel off and you probably won't have, have taste buds for the rest of the day or maybe a few days. But you guys, this is the best mouthwash that I ever encountered in my life. If you have halitosis or anything like that, get this mouthwash, it really helps out. And if you have any kind of cold sores or an abscess on your tooth or anything, any kind of problems with your mouth, use the Dr. Tishner's because it would knock it out just like that. Okay, so moving on to, I'm just gonna give you guys my only lip balm that I'm like currently wearing 24 seven. It's gonna be my Laneige Sleep Mask Lip Balm. 
that I bought from, I think I got it in my Sephora VIB sale. And you guys, I be killing this lip balm. I actually, honestly, got one in my Sephora Play. It's a smaller one and I was super excited to even get that because, because I love this stuff and I cannot do without. I use it at night and during the day and before I apply my makeup. And you guys, this keeps your lips so soft. So let's talk about the body wash. Okay, so for the body soap, I like to use the bar soap and then go in with a body wash. So the body bar soap that I like to use is Dial, and I always like to use the antibacterial. Dial is like one of my favorites. I also like Caress. I like the Irish Spring and Ivy and all them, but the Dial antibacterial bar soap is like one of my favorites. Then I go in with my Bath and Body Works body wash. Now I am a big fan of the Caress body wash, the Olay body wash and soft touch, soft focus. I will put a picture somewhere right here because I showed you guys in one of my empties. I do really like those body washes, but Bath and Body Works is one of my top favorite body washes. And at the very moment, I am in the hot cocoa and cream with shea butter and vitamin E. You guys, this smells like chocolate sugar cookies and I just love that. I love the smell of it when I'm in the shower and you guys, I love hot showers. I cannot do lukewarm, I cannot do cold. It has to be a hot shower. Don't use this in your yoni, okay? Don't use this in your yoni. I have some products that you can currently use in your yoni at any given point, but with the Bath & Body Works or any of the Caress, Olay, any of them, don't use it in your yoni. Now speaking of the yoni, I do have a yoni spray by Summer's Eve that I'm currently out of right now, but I do like to spray that on her when I'm getting out the shower, you know, just to keep her smelling just right but right now what I'm currently using to clean my yoni and my armpits and my behind <laughs> I'm gonna call it the behind is the Vagisil Odor Block Daily Intimate Wash you guys this is an odor block and it helps stop the odor before it starts and with it being summertime you guys and I don't know about y'all, but I'm outside in the sun all the time due to my kids and the sports that they play. And once again, because it is summer and they're out of school, they wanna go to the pool, they wanna go to the park, they wanna, you know, be out and about. I have two boys. So it's not staying in the house playing teacups with a little girl. We're outside in the sun majority of the time. And of course, yes, I still work. So, in order to keep me and my Yoni feeling, you know, confident and secure, we're working with the Vagisil Odor Block. So I've been testing this one out, but my number one favorite one to use is gonna be the Summer's Eve. And it's the Cleanse and Wash. I got it in the Morning Paradise right now, but any scent would work for me. I like the purple one, the blue one, and this one, it doesn't matter. And sometimes I buy the one that is scent free. So this one is a five in one. The Summer's Eve is a great one, but I can say the Vagisil is working pretty good for me right now. This isn't my first time trying it, but I mean, I think I would purchase it again. I haven't experienced anything out of the ordinary and my Yoni doing anything that she's not supposed to do. So I think Vagisil would be a good alternative to the summer's eat. All right, so the two deodorants that I normally always purchase is gonna be the Suave deodorant. And this one right now is in Tropical Paradise. I always get Sweet Pea Paradise Original. It doesn't matter as long as it's Suave and it's a 24 hour protection, as well as the Secret. This one is in the Freshwater Orchid. Any one of the secret scents will work as well. These two are just the two that I always buy. 
I don't know why why it's these two I'm not sure but I always pick up these two so I just normally keep up with what I normally buy I guess so for shaving I don't know if you guys really care to know but nine times out of ten I use the near hair removal and when I don't feel like sitting there with the near hair removal if I just need to do a quick shave I always go in with the Pure Silk Rich and Luxurious, Luxurious Shaving Cream for dry skin. I always use this one, but it really doesn't really, it really doesn't matter to me which shaving cream I use because I hate shaving cream. It's just too much of a mess for me, but when I have to, I really just use what's in my area. And normally when I coupon between Pure Silk and Silk Mist, is the two that I could find on sale with the coupons and regular razor that comes in the pack of like 10 or 20, whatever it comes with coupons that I can get for a good little discount, I use those two. Brazilian wax or laser removal or something like that, that's what I'm looking into when I can afford it. But until then, I have to do what I gotta do because I'm not the richest I'm not the richest bit in the world, okay? So I have to do what I gotta do. Okay, so a few more products. Now let's talk about what I like to moisturize with. And this is my whole body I love to moisturize with. For some reason, I've been loving the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. It's for the body and face for all skin types, you guys. I've been using Cetaphil for about two years now. And I always buy this one. I don't know why. I don't know what made me start. I think I received a Cetaphil lotion in one of my subscription boxes. And I used it on my face for, uh, I hope y'all can see me spit. <laughs> I used it on my face until I used it all up. And when I went to Walmart, I picked up the full bottle and been using Cetaphil for the longest. Um, it's lightweight, it's hydrating, and it's for every day, and it doesn't have a fragrance to it. So I love using this from my face down to my toes. Like, I love using Cetaphil. And because it is fragrance free, I do still like to go on top of it with a smell good lotion, what I would call it. And some of my favorite smell good lotions are the Victoria's Secret and the Bath and Body Works. But right now, the current one that I am into right now is my pink hand and, body, hand and body cream in the warm and cozy. Ugh, you guys, this smells so good. I don't really too much like to use lotions during the summer because it just feels like your skin is melting by the time you get in the sun. Now, at nighttime, I would put on those two and sometimes my body. This is the Bath & Body Works Rainbow Body Oil. It's in Marshmallow Magic. You guys, this stuff is really, really slippery, but it smells so freaking good. It smells so good. And I know all of the combinations and the concoctions of the different fragrance would make you think like, oh Lord, what, what will you smell like? Going to bed, you smell like pure heaven. It'll feel as good and then I'll spray on my little body sprays, which let's move on into that. My body sprays, I do have my Bath & Body Works body spray, Sweet Pea. I did leave it in the room, I forgot to grab it. But if I do have to put on a perfume, it's only one perfume that I'm rocking right now. But that one body spray by it's by Bath & Body Works, which is Sweepy. I love that one as well as my Pink by Victoria's Secrets. You guys, this stuff smells amazing. I've been using this particular packaging pink body spray for years, you guys. And I don't go to Victoria's Secrets or shop on Victoria's Secrets that often. I shop in Bath & Body Works way more than Victoria's Secret. But on top of the Sweepy and that body mist, if it's a spray that I have to use an actual perfume, it is gonna be my Victoria's Secret's love spell. And I've been having this for at least 
four years. Ugh, and it just smells so fruity and light. I like this for the summertime. I love that it is fruity and light. I love more of a fruity fragrance than like a musky fragrance. So you guys, that is it. That is all my hygiene products that I am currently rocking right now and working with. You guys let me know what is some of your favorites right now and if there's any products that I should be trying. And like I said, make sure y'all comment down below and let me know what's the next topic you guys would like to bring to the forefront. That is it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click the notification bell. Make sure all post notifications is on so you won't miss anything else from your girl. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you.